Doki. So I went looking, and sadly, even the Wikipedia page sucks ass. So, here's what we found out about the Nightmare Room. So, the Nightmare Room, it was a book series, of course, but also a TV show. The interesting part is that the book series was actually successful. Hmm. So, the book series was successful, but... The reason why it got cancelled was because of the events, well, they said one possible reason. We don't know exactly the true reason, but one possible reason was because of September 11th! It's like, yep, September 11th might have actually screwed up R.L. Stein and his writings, which is like, hmm. I need to check to see what he did with Goosebumps in 2000, which I think Goosebumps... 2000 even though I think it got canceled eventually so you're telling me that maybe he got distraught by September 11th and he just stopped he just shut down completely and took a moment like a long moment like wow as for the TV show the TV show got canceled due to low ratings and it's like low ratings low ratings what what low rate? Who? Who wasn't watching? What the fuck? Who wasn't watching? It's like, what? Did you guys want to watch freaking Eerie Indiana, The Next Dimension? Is that what you want to watch more? <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck. It's like, what exactly were they watching? I mean, Pokemon wasn't on it because it's on the same damn ass channel. No one was really truly watching. Um, It depends on what. It's like, I watched it. So since I watched, that means that nothing was on on Fox Kids. So unless they were watching cable, just like, hmm, this wasn't peak cable time yet. So I don't know why it got low ratings and where the fuck y'all guys were, but what the fuck, guys? What the fuck? <laughs> like, seriously, what the fuck? And yeah, my mistake, I have, to read, I have to actually correct myself. They had only one season, not two seasons. Another jerk ass decided to actually write something in to where it's like, oh, well, no, episode 11, 12, and 13 was in season two. And it's like, man, you deserve to get pimp slapped so hard. So anyways, yeah, I had one season. The worst one of them all to actually do anything. And it's interesting that Parachute Entertainment was a part of it. I think Parachute Press was a part of Goosebumps. Not sure about Haunting Hour. I think, yes, it might be. They were a part of it, too. But, yeah, this is the one that was done the worst. This was the one that was done very dirty. I think it's because, most likely, Scholastic ruined Arl Stein's magic. <laughs> that, and I'm pretty sure, I can't say Harry Potter, but, what? Did people stop not watch? freaking nightmare room to read harry potter really you, you stop watching it to read harry potter there's no way because it's like how does that work and i'm pretty sure that kids wb was consistent when it comes to showing shows they're consistent but just dang on the whole thing of it got canceled because of low ratings that's that that was painful and, well, to this day, I think you can find a few of them that's been released, but not everything has been released. I think one person who's a true hero on YouTube has posted a lot of Nightmare Room, a lot of Haunting Hour, and Goosebumps. So this guy is freaking awesome. I just hope that he doesn't get truly taken down and all the videos are lost again. It's like, oh, fuck, more episodes are lost again. Goosebumps is findable. Haunting Hour is findable. Nightmare Room, I don't know for sure. That's the messed up part. Ha Nightmare Room, I'm not sure that you're able to truly find all the episodes together. And like I did a rant before, I'm like, I hate it that you guys have exclusive releases. Like Walmart, stop being a jerk ass. Target, I bet you're a part of it too. Stop being a jerk ass with your limited releases. If they're limited releases, tell us, you bastard. What the fuck? But still... I feel sorry for this show because this show did the best thing ever. This show came out in Malcolm in the Middle and Reese 
The character Reeves was such a jerk ass that when it came to Liar Liar, that was the best episode ever because he finally got what's coming to him. And he's like, yeah, I didn't see him as that freaking um, kid who lied so much. No, I saw him as Reese about to get his ass whooped. And that's what he was going to get. He was going to get his ass whooped. And it's like, it's about Tommy got that. It's kind of funny that it's, a, it's secretly a, it was like a coincidence nod that he got an older brother. And of course, in Malcolm, well, he has an older brother who went to military school as well. So <laughs> it's funny where it's like, huh? I wish they would have been cool enough and I guess the term is meta where they actually cast Francis from Alk in the Middle to be that older brother. That would have been fucking awesome. That would have been awesome. But they didn't do it. Oh well. Anyways, it sucks. And <laughs> looking at all the other people, they were like, it's the forgotten series. It's the series that has been tossed away the hands of time. Which I'm like, I remember it. I just don't remember what happened to Indiana, Next Dimension. And I don't remember what the fuck happened around a twist. Do you remember that damn show? Anyone remember that show? <laughs>